Good morning, YouTube. It's your girl, Miss Honey. Welcome back to the channel. It is your girl, Miss Honey, here for the August 3rd devotional. Today, we're going to be talking about Heart Center. Uh, it comes from Colossians 3, verses 1 and 2. Morning version of Colossians is the E, S is in Sam, V is in Victory version. Evening version of Colossians 3 is the N as in Nancy, I as in Icicle, V as in Victory, N, I, V version, right? The morning version of Colossians 3 verses 1 and 2 reads, If then... You have been raised with Christ. Seek the things that are above. Where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. Set your minds on things that are above. Not on the things that are on earth. Whew. Wow. If you have been raised with Christ, seek the things that are above where Christ is. Seated at the right hand of God, set your mind on things that are above, not on things that are on earth. The text says social media, an escape, a gift, a communicative tool, a joy stealer, a comparison thief, a comedian, entertainment, social media can be fun, but it can also become an idol when we don't recognize it as such. Suddenly, instead of opening up the Bible, we are clicking on our phones, checking Facebook, posting photos, and updating statuses, seeking attention and approval from people rather than our Creator. Instead of seeking approval from others, turn your eyes toward the one who loved you most whose voice is the only one you should hear. Our prayer for this morning, Jesus, I choose to listen to your voice right now. Still my heart, calm my mind, and speak because I am listening. Let's go ahead and read the evening version. <laughs> that morning version that morning version seemed like it might be a little bit on the judgmental side right <laughs> that might be a little too harsh all right let's see if we can get <laughs> oh boy let's see if we can get colossians 3 uh verses 1 and 2 from the niv version uh uh, and it's texture to open up for us a little bit. It reads, since then you've been raised with Christ, set your hearts on things above where Christ is, seated at the right hand of God. Set your minds on things above and not on earthly things. No, no, the scripture, the scripture didn't let up at all. That version didn't let up at all. It still went horrid. Okay, let's go ahead and read the text. The text says, God desires for our life, or God's desire for our life is that we choose him above all else. Okay. He wants to be our focal point. One, we return to time and time again. So we don't ever steer too far off course 
In a busy life of choices, it's important to know your backup is also your best option. Seeking God and choosing life with him. The prayer for the evening says, God, sometimes I have to pull myself away from the computer so I can dwell on better things. I, I, I get wrapped up in the media, in media, and I waste time. Give me strength just to turn it off and switch my thoughts to you. The question for ourselves today is, where do you choose to spend the majority of your time? What choices could you eliminate to stay centered on Jesus? Listen, my mom and them, you had a saying back in the country. They used to say, tough titty, said the kitty. But the milk tastes good. Listen, if you are a social media maven, if you enjoy uh, all forms of social media, this is going to seem like judgment, I'm sure. Or at the very least, uh, you know, harsh criticism. Uh, if you're a younger person, it also may seem like it's a bit old fogey-ish, right? Uh, coming from a, a dated a dated perspective. All right? And I get all that. But I just want us to make note that we, as a people, as a country, as women... And men, children, family, friends, employees, employers, church. We are now more divided now than ever. There is more chaos in the land now than there has ever been before. There is both sickness and disease. Okay. Something's got to give. We cannot continue to do things the same old way that we've been doing them. Very rapidly we have seen the decline of uh, uh, of at least a, a moderately decent society. <laughs> you know what I mean? The, 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 the illusion of standard was at least there. It's a free-for-all. It's the wild, wild west. People know when you, 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 you're on, they know when you're off, they know the last time you posted, uh, if, if they can't get you on the phone, they gonna hit you in your DMs, right? People can, uh, you know, if you've got teenage, teenagers, they don't have to you know, call you, they don't have to text each other. They can do all their conversations in the DM. They can be slid up on in the DMs. They can be lured away in the DMs. Over on Twitter, the gram, Facebook, Snapchat. Yeah. I think the greater point of this devotional today is not a condemnation, I think, of social media per se, because it also has its benefits, right? It is to say, where does your 
heart lie? Where does your heart lie? I have fun over on Twitter. I like to post things, my, my, my disdain for politics, that type of thing, it, you know, within politics, I should say. And I found out, you know, you could change your name. Your name can be something different every day, you know, according to your mood or whatever. And I've been Vaxinesia Jones for a long time. (laughs) Man, I thought it was such a good tag name. I did. I thought of something that was hilarious that would just, in my opinion, that would just, you know, set me apart and, you know, get comments and laughs and all that stuff. And um, I thought about it a little bit more and I was like, oh, I better not. I better not. At first glance, it seemed like it was so harmless and, and, uh, funny and you know you know what I mean right (laughs) I didn't mean it like that right (laughs) Uh, but it didn't glorify God and you know everything it it, is not going to glorify God per se I guess but It bothered me that it's something that would take away from the things that I say are important to me, which is my relationship with God. It, it, it's inappropriate. And because it's, if it's something I turned to you and said to you, you and I were just kidding and talking. Talking and being a little, a little, uh, um, I forget what the word is, you know, just, just, just me and you just sitting there and talking and laughing and just being funny and, uh, it's one thing, but to share something like that and leave it open for the interpretation of thousands of people, millions of people, whatever. I I don't have a huge Twitter following at all. And I don't follow a lot of people on Twitter at all. But the moment I said it, I laughed about it. I thought about it. And then I thought it's just too many ways for this to have an effect not just on my relationship with God, but other people's relationship with God. Because now it if you come to me and you say, um, I really enjoy your, your messages, you know, in the morning, your devotionals and, and, you know, your sidebar messages and stuff like that. And then you go out and you see my Twitter and this is the name that I'm using or phrase or whatever that I'm using. It, the two don't mix, the two don't mix. Right. And again, it doesn't glorify God. So it's something I have to really, really think about, especially when I'm putting it out there to the public. And I told that whole story because it, I mean, literally just came to me last night what I wanted to change my name to. And uh, I thought it would be catchy. I see a bunch of catchy stuff out there and I kind of wanted to get in the fray with it, you know. But. I have to think about it. I do. I have to think about that. I still have to be human. I still have to be me. Right? I still have to have my own personality. I still have to laugh from my belly and have a good time. I'm human. Okay? These eyes work. All right? I be seeing stuff. I be looking. (laughs) <laughs> and I'd be like, okay, okay. 
Ain't nothing like a good looking man, baby, with a beard. Oh, my, my. Mm -mm -mm. I be looking. I be looking. And I be posting. But you got to have a standard. You got to set a bar that you do not go beneath. I'm telling you. This is how you get the little foxes that ultimately destroy the vine. This is how little indiscrepancies become a much larger thing. A much bigger monster in your life, a much bigger stronghold in your life. Stay on top of the little foxes on social media. There are a lot of little foxes that separate your heart from the love of God. And you may not recognize it as such when it's happening, but over time you will see it's kind of like uh, uh, if you've ever been on a, on a raft. It's one thing to be on a raft or a float in, in the pool, right? Because the pool's got sides on it. You're only going to go so far. Now you may get on that float in the shallow end and float and float and float and look up at the sky and have your beverage. And then you may look around and try to flip off of that joker and you be down in the 12 feet, right? You, it, it has, it has drifted away. Same thing for, if you've ever, uh, you know, been floating in the ocean, all right, you, you're right there on shore and you're having a good time and the waves are coming and you, you drift off for a quick little nap. And before you know it, you hear that tweet, 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 because you are drifting away, uh, drifting away. You're not anchored. You're 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 a lot further from shore now than you than you um, were at first. And now because you're a lot further away from from the noise of the shore and, and the safety of the shore, you're running into a situation where there may be sharks circling underneath you or uh, if you're not a very strong swimmer and cannot swim against the current. Or the waves, you might find yourself in a place where struggling to swim back or to get yourself back only leads you further out into the water. <clears throat> Stay on top of where your focus is, where all your time is spent. All right. This term heart center is it, it seems like it's not applicable, but it is, in my opinion. It is, right? Because what you put your money behind, what you put your time behind, what you put your focus behind is where your heart is. If you don't have no time, you don't have no focus. You don't have no energy for God, God's business, being better, doing better, service, love, moving in love, acting in love. You're not spending any time with him and you're spending it on other things. Then it, those other things will soon become an idol. A separator, a divider between you and the father. It's just that simple. Stay on top of what's important. Remember the question of the day is where do you choose to spend the majority of your time? What choices could you eliminate to stay centered on Jesus? 
on God. You can have fun and stay centered on God. I'm not saying sit and read your Bible all day. I'm not saying that, of which sidebar I think people could, could, could do with reading a little bit more. But again, that's a sidebar. I'm not saying you got to walk around humming scriptures all day. I'm not saying that. I'm not. But let your focus and your behaviors be God-centered. All right? Listen, don't even mention him. Don't even mention him. Don't bring God up. Don't bring God's name up. Don't drop God's name at all. Just carry yourself like you do. Right? Huh? It's easy to talk holiness. It easy, it's easy to talk godly. It's easy to talk like you got a connection with God. It's a completely different thing to live it. Don't even talk about it. Just live it. Just live it. Just live. L-I-V-E. Live it. Not live it. <laughs> live it. Let them see it in your walk. Let them see it in your in your conversation. Let them see it in your encouragement. Just live it. Where your heart is, live that. Where you truly want it to be, live that. All right? I love you guys. Uh, with the love of the Lord. Listen, nothing you can do about that. And my prayer for you today is that you begin to identify the little foxes huh, that are separating you from the love of God. I'll let nothing separate me from the love of God. I pray you begin to identify the little foxes. We all got them. We all got them. Some of us, it ain't social media. Some of us, it's food, music. You know what I'm saying? Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> A combination of it all. Money. Men. Yeah, that's my prayer for you today. Identify some of your little foxes and, and, and work on doing things a little bit better. Work on, on doing uh, more of God and less of man, less of worldly things. It's just a snare. It's just a distraction. It's just a little bit of entrapment to get you to look away, to stay off course. And now more than ever, we need to stay the course. If you are building something with God, do not let someone get you distracted. Someone, something, whatever, get you distracted from what you're working on. All right. All right. I love you again with the love of the Lord. There's nothing you can do about that. And until next time, honeybees. I'll holler.